Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I'll show you guys how to implement functionality where your user can send email from within your app. And a lot of apps use this functionality to send feedback or uh, report bugs or something like that, where they click a button in the app and it brings up their compose email dialog. And the user can just, you know, you can pre-fill some information like the, the to field and the subject field and the user just types in. Uh, their message and then hit send. So it's very simple to do that and I'll show you how. We're going to start by creating a single view uh, demo Xcode project. and I'm going to call this one uh, mail demo. I'm just going to save it on the desktop. The first thing we will want to do is scroll down to the frameworks and libraries and add a framework called message UI framework so just type in message it'll show up double click it to add it just verify that you've added it there and then we're gonna go into our storyboard and let's add a button so make sure you're looking at this objects tab that's a common problem uh, and this button is to toggle this pane if you don't see it at all so type in button, we're going to drag it here. I'm just gonna elongate that a little bit. And I'm gonna call this button. Uh, how about send a mail? And keep in mind there are a couple of tabs here too. So if you don't see anything, make sure you're on the attributes inspector tab and that you've highlighted your button in order to see the properties here. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is just open up uh, the assistant editor. Make sure I'm looking at viewcontroller.m. And I do this pretty much in all of my demos just to illustrate some simple, uh, some simple concepts and how-tos, usually invoked by a button. And I'm going to hold down control here and click and drag into an empty area. And I'm just going to name this method send mail tapped so this method is going to be triggered by this event so the button actually has a whole bunch of events that you can choose that's the one we want and that represents when the user taps on the button and lifts his or her finger while still within the the area of the button so that's what touch up inside means so we're going to click connect and now we have this method that's going to be triggered when the user taps the button so I'm just going to flip back to single view here. And up here, um, actually, I'm going to be a little preemptive. I'm going to go into viewcontroller.h. I'm going to import here message UI. And you'll see why I'm doing it in the .h in a sec, because I'm going to need, uh, I'm going to, need to access some classes in this framework from the .h file. But first, we're going to view controller.m and upon this send mail tapped method, we are going to create a new mf mail compose um, view controller. I'll just call this mail composer equals mf mail compose view controller allocate it initialize it and here we can set some properties if we want to pre-fill some some of the fields we can go mail composer uh, set subject to a particular string let's say it's feedback um, let's say app feedback Right. And let's do mail composer set to recipients. And we can do an inline declaration of an array because it accepts an array of email addresses. So we can do this. And inside our array, we can put a single email. Let's say we can put um, test at test.com. All right, and if you wanted to do more, you can, you know, put a comma, 
and do another email. That's the beauty of using an array for that. And finally, to display the actual compose window, all we have to do is go self present this one right here, present view controller. We want to we want to animate it. So I'm just going to pass in the mail composer animated yes, so we can see it sliding up. And here it gives you an opportunity to uh, provide a block of code that is going to be executed upon the completion of showing the compose dialog. But I don't want to execute any code. I'm just going to put nil. And let's run it and give it a whirl. Actually, before we do that, let's say construct mail compose view controller object and set initial properties. Display the mail composer. All right. So I'm going to press Command R to run, or you can press this icon right here to run it. So I'm going to hit Send Mail, and there we go. So we have the subject prefilled and the to field prefilled, just like we've indicated here. And the user can very simply do that. Just type in their message and. I'm going to hit send. I'm not sure if it'll actually send because this is in the simulator. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. Uh, but if this were the actual user's device, it would actually send it from their default email account. And we want to implement now what happens when the user clicks cancel. Okay, uh, let's say the user deletes the draft. You can see that nothing happens. Right. The reason nothing happens is because we need to handle the case when the mail controller is dismissed, basically when that event happens, and then we got to call something to the effect of the opposite of this, right? Because we manually called present view controller to throw up this mail composer dialog, but uh, we also have to manually remove it when it's finished. So what we do is we go into viewcontroller.h and we say that this class conforms to the MF message, the MF mail compose view controller delegate. Okay, and this protocol has a method that we need to implement in order to handle that event. So I'm going to go to the dot m so we can implement it. And it's basically void mail compose controller did finish with result and basically this method this delegate method is called when um, the mail compose dialog is finished whether that be the user clicked send to send it or they clicked cancel to cancel it so in here we want to dismiss the mail control, uh, the mail composer. So all we do is say self dismiss view controller uh, animated yes. And again, nothing for the completion block. Uh, there's one last step. So even though the view controller conforms to this protocol and it implements this method, the did finish with the result. We have to set this view controller to respond to this object. So what we do is mail composer dot delegate equals self. Let's see what. Oh, okay. Actually, there's. That's not the property I need to do. Yes, that's the one. So mail compose delegate is the one that we want to set the view controller as. And so the view controller has set itself as the object to be notified 
when this event happens. So let's run it again. I'm pressing Command R to run it. And now we go send mail. And if I click cancel, delete draft, this time you can see that this fires and it actually removes the, uh, the mail compose dialog. So if this whole delegate protocol thing is confusing to you, uh, we actually go through it in my video course. So that might be something that you want to consider joining. I use these YouTube videos to show how to do very specific things. But if you want a step-by-step -step starting from scratch type of learning experience, then I provide that in the course. So consider checking that out. So that's it for this quick video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and share this video if it was helpful to you. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.